My name is Steph Nowak, a second year fashion history and theory student at Central St. Martins, and I'm going to talk to you about the siren suit. Its modern form today is known as the onesie, and in recent years, we've seen it being worn by countless celebrities and it being taken up as a trend for fashionable festivals such as Coachella in California. But little known to most who wear them is that Winston Churchill, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom during the Second World War, was actually the first famous champion of the romper. Similar in style to the boiler suits worn by many workers to protect their clothing, Churchill is credited for popularising the siren suit during the war. He would wear it regularly even when meeting other important wartime figures, such as General Dwight D. Eisenhower, as seen here. It became a national symbol for the hardship endured by Britain during the time of the Blitz, the unrelenting eight-month period in which British cities were being systematically bombed by Hitler's air force, beginning on the 7th of September 1940 and ending on the 16th of May 1941. During this time, thousands of bomb shelters were built across the nation and drills became a part of everyday life. The functional zip-front step-in style of the siren suit meant that it was the easiest form of clothing to quickly put on overnight clothes before rushing to and from these shelters. Many historical accounts of the time have commented on its conveniency and how the siren suit solved the problems of warmth and modesty in the air raid shelters. The siren suit was designed for children as well, as surviving dress and advertisements from the time period can illustrate, but what is even more interesting is how the one-piece jumpsuit would begin to have its own place in fashion. Pattern-cutting books such as Vogue patterns, from which garments could be handmade with using the fabrics available under rationing, show the accessibility and versatility of the siren suit during the Second World War. In 1942, Harper's Bazaar would declare that fashion is out of fashion, but as this film from 1939 demonstrates, the siren suit was not to be left out completely from the world of luxury. As the war ended, the popularity of the siren suit lessened with its decreasing necessity. However, its practicality meant that through the latter half of the 20th century, it would be reincarnated in different forms, and today it continues to be celebrated in modern fashion. For more information, you can read the exhibition's accompanying book, Fashion on the Russian, Style in the Second World War by Julie Summers, or 40s Fashion, From Siren Suits to the New Look by Jonathan Walford, both available from the Imperial War Museum's bookshop.